Good day once again. Here we are with another video, another discussion for our uh, uh, class discussion, and that is uh, GE uh, 12 Indigenous Peoples in the Philippines. So uh, last time we have talked about um, the first two modules, and that is the topic that we, we started last time is um, people in the Philippines or how people came to the Philippines. Asa nagsugod. And then uh, the second module that we have discussed is uh, defining indigenous people. So last time we have talked about that one. Today we're going to continue our discussion and on module three and module four. And I'm going to be give you a guide on how to do it this one and how to answer, how to finish your, your module and that is <clears throat> module three is entitled okay anyway makita man yun sa inyong inyong ko ano inyong printed nga booklet so si tayo ito module four is Filipino indigenous philosophy we're going to talk about the philosophy of uh, the Filipinos or the indigenous philosophy and we're go also going to talk about the Philippine indigenous community or the indigenous peoples of the Philippines. So this is what we're going to talk today. And I hope you will find, uh, you understand and you will learn something out of our discussion today. <clears throat> so first, let me share to you the I, IOL or the intended learning outcome of this module. So our intended learning outcome is to familiar, familiarize the student that we're going to familiarize the different ethnic groups or indigenous groups in the Philippines. So most likely we are going to name a few of them. So then uh, we are going to learn who are these people and how many percent they are in a, in our population and their location. So as you can see, I put also a map on there so that you will know where their location is. So ngatong activity is the same. You're going to watch this uh, YouTube channel that we have and it titled, who are the indigenous peoples in the Philippines? But I'm going to merge this one class. I'm going to put only one name and they, so because uh the topic in one video and then we have uh to read and understand the provided readings anyway class bisan pagdili ko maghimo og video discussion but <clears throat> everything is provided sa ato ang learning content but uh the good thing about this uh video discussion is you will have to you will understand kung unsay nakasulat diha because I will discuss them. Okay, uh, let's make it a note in CIP. Uh, NCIP is National Commission on Indigenous People. This uh, commission was created so that it will take care of the uh, indigenous people. Uh, I, I forgot who, who who is the president who created this commission, but it was... Uh, this commission design and they are the commission anyway we're going to talk more about them about this commission because we're going to talk what policies they make for the indigenous people so <clears throat> they are the the commission who takes care of the uh, indigenous people community and according to them a number or estimated number last 1998 estimated numbers among indigenous people there were 12 to 15 million so uh, this is an official count but they they have this reference uh, national statistic office nga ilang gi survey niya 1995 so uh, akong balik kong class ang atong uh, indigenous community last time we 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 discuss is they are the first people sa ato ang country but they are pushed palayo pabukid tungod sa uh, tungod sa resettlement or sa mga 
uh, sa colonization, hangtod ni abot ang mga Americans. So those are the 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 reasons na himo silang nagpalayo sila. But they have their own cultures already. Kaning kaning mga, mga cultures na anadaan, wala na ikuandaan, wala na nagtudlo sila but they have build these cultures already. So uh mo na inihitabo nga na, na tungod kay dili sila mo mo accept of new 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 cultures uh, they they move outskirt palayo sila so mo na inihitabo and we're going to talk more about that one sa uh, next na to nga mga few modules coming modules on uh, mga policies and masigutan na to ang mga uh, few details sa sa nahitabo during that time So this time I'm going to show you few information which is most likely na anas at in your in printed mod modules but I'm going to discuss few of them okay uh, about this one there it is uh, geographic distributions at all mga uh, indigenous people all right <clears throat> It was said that there are more than 1,000 ethno-linguistic groups located in 65 uh, provinces at our country. To be exact, 110 of them. Unya, they were distributed. 61 indigenous peoples are found mostly here in Mindanao. And 33 in Luzon and 6 in Visayas. So 61, 33 and plus six more 100 plus and to be exact 110 there are uh, there are few gonna merge and there are few gonna gone wala na siya <clears throat> lumad people comprise the majority among ip so ang lumad yung pinakaraghan and they, they were followed by the cordillera people dito sa sierra madre then There are other distinct IP groups, including the Karabot, Karabalo tribes, Ang Mangyan, Negrito Aita, sa Palawan Hill tribes, and the groups in Visayas. So, sa Visayas, no, Gamayra ang consider dito ng mga kanang IP or indigenous people. So, again, uh, I've mentioned a while ago ang NCIP or National Commission on Indigenous People. It says that Majority or 61% sa indigenous people na din sa Mindanao o uh, third, 33% na sa Luzon and the remainder 6%. So, motong bahay, pagbahay na to kaganiyan, no? Then we have, there. it was said that there are 171 different languages that speak or spoken. So, kita sa Pilipinas, that we are the one of the homogeneous or we are the mixed race in he sa uh, southeast asia it was said that we are we are one of the uh, unique people because the gangetag language so there are 171 of them and ang existing is 168 because ang three ana wala ang extinct na so wala na yung gamit ang mga language <clears throat> so the gang you know, 168 But, uh, but yet, we exist as a people. These numbers are also represent the different culture entities that speak these languages. So 168 different lang uh, language or uh, dialect. But this one, nag-exist po siya, kauban po sa ilang cultures, sa languages. So naibisaya, naikuan, apil na siya, no? apil na sa counting. But, Uh, 110 or 100 plus or to be exact 110 ang IP ana indigenous community or indigenous people the rest will be non considered as IP kaya mix naman ta karon kita dili naman ta matawag na indigenous people because we accept different culture and put it together and becomes our own so muna no so muna ni tabo ah mo ni ang distribution sa mga uh, Indigenous community class. It was divided into seven. 
sa region 1 or car. Then region 2, dayon sa Luzon, then sa region 3, 4 og parts sa region 5 na adya ang mga uh, indigenous community. Then adya ang 33%. Dayon uh, na adayon ang island group, region 4, region 6, region 7, region 8. Muni siya dito sa kuan muni siya dito sa katong 6% sa Visayas and the rest will, or, or the 61% makita sa Western Mindanao Region 9 sa Buanga o sa Region 10 yung isa to ah, Northern Mindanao then there's also in Region 11 Davao Region o Caraga then Central Mindanao o Sok Sargent yeah, sa Jen Sanda Pit Sok Sargent Region 12 so Mona ang distribution. It was represented, or represented in seven uh, division. You divide into seven. Dihan imo makita ang different groups or people who were considered as the indigenous peoples in our country. So, uh, so mona ato ang uh, discussion on the indigenous people, but uh, we are going to identify who are these people. Okay, ito just lang pang, pang ila-ilahon. Kinsa ni sila. Okay. Who are these indigenous? What are their names? And in the next few modules that we have, I'm going to ask you to make a reporting on on them. Daghan makaini sila. So I'm going to divide this according to each of you. So isa-isa, no? Kada, kada section ay na mo i-report ng Osaka indigenous community. And I'm going, anyway, uh, dili pa na may tabo karon, but uh, ma-receive rin ninyo ng module puhon and you will understand kung, or you will know kung unsay inyo i-report. Alright. Let me share this one. Ito na makita. Okay, this one. So, maunis siya ang sa Luzon o sa Visayas class. So, Aita, Mangyan, Dumagat, Ilonggot, Kalinga, Kanoy or Kenny, Palawano, Rim, Rimontado, Tagbanoa, o Tudag. So these are the uh, indigenous people sa Luzon. Indigenous, uh, sa ganito sa itong definition, because they have their own culture, kunya nagkaanam na siya o kagamay. Nahimu na silang padulong na sa distinct. That their culture is still existing. So we say us, we have Apayao, Bunto, Ifugao in Inibalaw e kankanay mulbuganon o batak sulod tinyangnan or itning. By the way, class, uh, Luzon, gibutan ako rin Luzon, Visayas because uh, giusar na siya, no? Uh, ang, ang mga mountain mountain tribes, supposedly lahat na to siya, unum raman to sila kabuo, but the are considered as kanang iusar na sila kay unum roman ang sagol sa Luzon. But there are a lot sa Mindanao. And it was categorized to uh, two Lumad o Moro. Okay? So, sa akong mga, ato mga egsuon, mga sudyante na to, mga Muslim, naapo na sila, naapo o sa itong mga egsuon Muslim, naapo na sila ilahang mga indigenous people. Diripod sa ato o sa mga mga bukid nun, naapun ni ato ang itawag, itawag ni sila og lumad. Okay? So, sa lumad, we have ata or ata or ataas, pag-uubo, manwa, mandaya, bilaan, bulanggan, kulaman, subanon, tagakaulo, tiruray, mangguanggan, banwaon, bukid nun, kalanggan, manubo, taga, tagabili, talandig, talaandig. Then, uh, we have Bajau, Magindanao, Iran, Iranan, Kalibugan, Maranao, Pul Pulanan, Mapan, Samal, Sangil, Tausog, Yakan. Actually, Bajau is uh, not really a Muslim group, but they were considered because tungkol sa ilang location, uh, most likely there is sa buang gadapit. So, they were uh, included there is a uh, Morong, uh, they're considered as the, the Moro indigenous peoples. So, Monica, class ang ato mga kwano. So, 
ubay-ubay ni sila 100 ka pin ah, maabot ang panahon ako mo ang iyo o oh, ako mong i-assign each of you to pick uh, kanang a tribe and then you're going to report on them okay so muna yung ato ang mga uh, mountain o mga indigenous people okay usaon na to usaon ninyo pag answer ang inyong output sa inyong output class i have put I have given you uh, example so by the way if you can see an ethnographic look ethnographic map na apilam na ko diyan butang sa inyong uh, module output but it so happen nga dili kay siya clear so if you want to know their location maklaro man niya maklaro man uh, search the, the net and you put ethnographic location of icc o ips or ethnographic map so niya maklaro ninyo ang kwad ang <clears throat> yeah, hang distribution all right uh, sabi Kung ipakita sa inyo ha, ang inyong module or kung mahimo, you have to hold your module while watching eh, so that uh, you will be guided. Okay. Okay. So, money no? Money ang ethnographic map. It's not very clear siguro di sa inyo because uh, gi-rise or muna ito na but uh, inana siya ang purma. But anyway, you can check this one in, in the website. You can find this map. Okay, so atong exercise this uh, this topic is we have two. First, you create a crossword puzzle using the information below in a separate clean A4 bond paper and answer it. Okay, na information drill crossword puzzle mahim mo crossword puzzle. So na information across unsa across ang down unsa na siya. So tagaanta mo idea kun Pag itaon nun pa na ako ang example ani. But uh, you make your own. So, mahim mo 5 across, 7 or 8, then 12. Anyway, dagko naman mo. Uh, easy na niya para sa inyo ha. Itong mga boxes ba? Mga boxes, no? Nimoon yung crossword puzzle. So, example, this group inhabits the province of Zambales. Kinsa mo na sila ng mga grupo. Yung answer, pila siya ka letter word. One of the indigenous people groups of, of Bukidnon. Kung saan na pagkabalo, sir, may na diha, kaya naaman na siya sa provided reading. Kung sa'y mga answer, ani. Dahil yun, makita po ninyo kung pila siya ka letters. So, inyong maplastar, ma, ma, maplastar ninyo kung kung sa'y iyahang iyang purma. So, I hope um, ako, ano? Anyway, kumakita na ako to akong sample ani. Uh, akong i-forward ibuta na to sa nako sa chat group aron makita ninyo kung unsay iyang plaster ani. Okay? So, muna siya ang activity or exercise 2, the same topic we will have assessment 3. So, in a separate A4 bond paper, you ha have to find or look for a map in the Philipp of the Philippines and you are going to locate 20 Fili Philippine indigenous groups. So, kani example in ani, ani sa inyong kano? So, mangita mo o picture, kani gamay man sa inyong hang, uh, gamay man sa inyong modules. Naniro man siya karako. Gamay man siya. So, di ni pwede ninyo nga din hinyo ni answer ha. Kung pwede po inyong i-drawing, Pwede ra po ninyo i-drawing. Okay ra. Mangita mo o pictures sa Philippine. Philippines. Dahil yun inyong isight ang 20 ka mga Philippine indigenous groups. Example. Ako may butang example. Di naman sa bukid nun. Butang ako di ang manubo. O ayaw ninyo gaya po lang manubo ha. Kay, na, nabutang naman ako ang manubo din eh. So i-design. I-assign nyo. Butang ninyo o kanang mga lines. Then, butong asa ni siya, unsa ni siya yung mga grupo. So, in module 3, you have two outputs. We have exercise 2, and that is the puzzle, and assessment 
three, and that is the map. Okay. So I hope masabtan. Okay, let's go to module four, Filipino indigenous philosophy. Why is it important that we have to talk about the philosophy or of the indigenous people? Because we have to understand kung unsa ilang pagtanaw sa or worldviews. Why? Kung unsa ilang pagtanaw sa tuwa. By understanding this, we can make uh, a policy nga magkadungan ta, parehas ta. We will understand each other. We will understand kita. We will understand them and them understanding us. Because we are not considered as the uh, indigenous people. So, ato masabtan ang ilang mga filosofiya sa kinabuhi. O, parehas na ba ni sa ato ah? Or, mamao ba ni sa ato ah? O, lahi ba sila? Okay? So, ato in learn, uh, intended learning outcome ani is, uh, we are going to, we are be, we will going to be expected to contribute or in, intellect, intellectualize the Filipino indigenous thought. Atong sabtun ang mga uh, indigenous na mga panghuna-huna. Right? So, atong activity, the same. Then we have the learning content. Now, sa learning content na to class, mura siya o broad ra kayo, mura ba dako ra kayo, dako ka siya gagawin na panghuna-huna. But, you are going to understand nga kanang out of this, or you call this one, kanang masabta na to kung unsay mga panghuna na sa indigenous community or is there really a philosophy of, Philippine, of, of the Philippines? Na ba yung mga filosofiya ang mga tao din eh? Ba sila sunod lang ta sa mga western? Na sunod lang ta sa mga colonizers? So, I have uh, put few readings din eh. Aro na yung masabtan. Dayon, you're going to consider and read this one. And then I mentioned a few, pe few uh, groups of or, or tribes or indigenous community or indigenous people here, like uh, sa Ivatan, Ilocano, Tagalog, Pampang Pampango, Pangasinensi. Ibanag, Igurot, Bikulano, Cebuano, Bisaya, Terura, ito also Oklano, Bukidnon. So, na-adin hi, no? Na-mention din ni. And then, if we are going to consider the tone as well, you are going to read, we, uh, according to Tembresa, there are indigenous or native legends, poems, epics, songs, riddles, or bugtong, then proverbs, lawikain, ritual and dances, these things shows the philosophy of the indigenous people. Ano man? Because it was said, kung basahon niyo pabalik, then you know, uh, naradre, uh, na approach, ninhi, we have the cultural approach, then the traditional approach. Sa, if we are going to understand the uh, Filipino philosophy, then uh, it was said that nga, ang umuhiskot ng philosophy, it was expressed sa so, philosophy, mga panultihon, mga idea or ilahang, ilahang guides, ilang kinabuhi. They have their philosophy according to their experiences. And according to their experiences. But pasabot, kita natin philosophy in the Philippines because we have experiences. With daily experiences. So when go, going to the indigenous peoples, na po sila ilang kaugali ng mga experiences. Uh, every day they have their experiences. They have, uh, go, they're going to go hunting, they're going to plant trees, or plant planting, mga pagkaon, pagpangita o pagkaon, pangisda para sa mga taga-ilog or uh, itong nag, nagpuyo doon sa dagat. Ilang, pag, ilang pangisda. They have their experiences and through that, they they form uh, create their ancestors created philosophy. So uh, it was said nga kung kung atong tun an really kung we are going to go deep deeper sa philosophy yung Pilipino, we can create according to uh, 
embrace so we can create a uh, kind of more booklet booklet we have a lot we have many daghanta og kanang mga filosofiya sa Pilipino Pilipino dili na siya sikat tungod kay it was uh, distributed in many languages so kung uh, filosofiya sa mga manubo lahi puto manubo puto ng mga panultihon uh, philosophy sa mga, sa mga nubo so uh, you're going to read that one class I'm not going to go over on that. I'm just giving you the overview. Then, uh, na din he ang atong mga different uh, principles and worldviews sa mga mga indigenous people. Kalista na dia seven is lakabo. And if you re really read more, I have put the source so you can visit this website. And you can see what we're going to, uh, what is more discussed in there. So, ang, kata, ang atong assessment or ang atong ang module output number four, or sa four, for our module four, we only have one module output. Okay. So, ito si Monedri atong module output in another separate uh, one paper, a for one paper, write an indigenous legends. Magsulat mo, mangita mong legend. So, ganun ang legend. Karoon, yun na sabtan, I am legend. Sa mga na de, sa mga na ng legend de. So, istorya sa Osaka tao or group of people who became legend because of what they have done to their community. Or maybe poem. Kamoy pa istorya na na poems. But it's poems. Poems. So, o epics. So, uh, epic fail, dili na epic fail, epic mga compilation of a short story or short uh, short adventure basing sa mga indigenous community. Then we have songs, indigenous songs, riddles or bugtong, and then proverbs, mga penultihon sa mga indigenous community. Then you have to look for it. Find an example and then put it in our a for band paper. Then discuss how they reflect the Filipino philosophy of life. Oh, so follow the example below. Nako example, I have found the Ambahan. Ambahan class is a list of mga lista niya sa mga poems sa mga mangyan. So Nay mga daghan kay makita ninyo kung yung itay pang ambahan makita niyo daghan dito but I don't want nga daghan ang magambahan ha si mungkin piyahe na mo ambahan parehas na mo tanan so but there are a lot no ako lang nakita ni ambahan ah uh, okay nani na lang walay magambahan walay magkuha og ambahan because I have found it already sin mo na na inyong kan tagaan lang ta mong example mo ni siya ang ambahan is a is a uh, Compilation of Mangyan indigenous poem. So, Monesheno, uh, poem sa Mangyan. And this talks about kaning uh, nga poem nag, nag, nag shows ni siya kung unsa ang style sa mga ginikanan or parenthood sa mga Mangyan. Okay. So, the Mangyan people, dili sila stricto. Dili na sila nguna na sila mga anak na, Uy, ayaw diha, ayaw diha, o bantay, uy, nga nung yaw. No, lingkod lang ka diha, dito rin, papuyo rin, kumahandok mahugawan ang ilang mga anak, mahandok masamad, madagma. Mangyan people, they don't do like that. They believe that learning by doing. Oh, Numdumi ninyo na. na sabay, atong mangyan, mga kaisunan ng mangyan, they have this kind of, of learning. Learning by doing. So, ang ilang anak, kung maghawid, nagsundang, dili na sila, Uy, ayaw diha, ayaw hiri, ayaw hiri, kay masamad ka. They, they, they let them do it. Pag masamad sila, Uy, nasabta nila, Uy, amad ko da. Hait din eh, sakit din eh. So, they learn. So, inana ang pamaagi sa mga mangyan. So, Dari ako gi explain po there is a, a brief explanation dari sa ubos kung unsa na siya all about ang poem. So mo po na inyong buhaton class. So they say 
it was said there that they believe that children will learn their lessons eventually when they are ready. But tumang yan dili pun la pasagdan. Ila pong ati manon giya lang sila guide lang sila. So instead of telling their children do this don't do that, they did it indirectly in the form of metaphorical ambahan. Naagi po sila pagtudlo pero ilang gamiton pinaagi sa uh, ambahan or poem. Mone usa ka example. And in this poem, gigamit sa nini is ang bird. Gingan lang nila lado-lado. Lado-lado. And then this ilang gigamit nga nga pagtudlo sa tong akong basaho na si manok lado-lado dang nalakaw arayo dit aglabang mayamo pinarumbay sa puro so in english na po translation sa english says the bird lado-lado far away you should not go mind the sneers of evil spooks that are scattered in the woods so na po sila pagtudlo so Ang po sila mga teachings. Magbantay ka, ingon sila lulado, kay daghan sa, sa sa forest or the woods, daghan mga dangers, mga mga dili maayong butang. So, in ani ang inyong himoon class, no? Himoon sa one A4 band paper. So, put your name, you put your section, and then you put kung poems book poem ba yung inyong gamiton or proverbs ba or bugtong ba, riddle ba so yeah, dahil ibutang nyo sa ubos ang explanation kung unsan niya all about okay so I hope clear siya no and I'm going to remind it again i-remind mo na ko nga ang inyong module output you should put something or front page okay Kung ano siyang dimension sa first na ito ang module uh, discussion. First two module discussion. Front page, module 1, module 2, module 3, module 4. Nakakompile na siya class. Yan muna yung ipasa sa ako. Because uh, we want we don't want that ka nang magkatibulag like before. Magkatibulag in yung mga modules. Yung pasangin lang na ba din yung yung maestro kung yun saan. Si maestro apag take care sa module. Right? But this time, uh, kamu mismo magbasa sa inyong module. So, kamu maghatag directly sa kuwa. Ni ako po mismo maghatag po sa inyong module out, uh, sa inyong module for next month. Uh, soft copy again, I'm going to tell you. Soft copy uh, deadline will be on April 5. And the hard copy, April 13. Kanang April 13 class, pasa na gina. But be 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 careful. I might I might change it. There might be changes on that one. But so far, it mo na siya ato sa pagkakaroon mo na. So siguro mahimo earlier because uh, dili ko gusto po ng magbalik balik mo dito sa atong school. Ako mag magpapasa ko module output aning pizzaha. Pagkasunod si, pagkasunod si Mana, manhin na po mo sa school kay parang pasa na po sa module nyo, nyo sa ating mga subject. So, but as, as of now, April 13. So, di na mo paabot. Humanon na na rin yung module by now before mag-end kaninga month. Ma-finish na rin yung module. Aroon nga, ready na mo sa April. So, I have, ngita dito ko pa maagi nga ma, as early, di li pare sa una nga tagsatag sa kada simana ko mahimo sa video discussion usahon na ako ako video discussion karon aron nga uh, na namoy guide daan ready na mo daan aron makita ninyo daan dili mo makapahimo mo sa angil dugay kay nagpost og video si sir karon na na kapost na ko video uh, as early as now so pwede na ninyo matanaw pwede ninyo mahuman ang inyong module so by next time uh, Next month, once nga mapas na nako ang inyong, o mahatag na nako sa inyo ang inyo ang uh, another set of module, I'm going to make the discussion as early as well. So, that's all for now. I hope you enjoy and good luck to all. Good luck to learn, to, to your learning.
God bless us and take care.